take out this IDE cable and I can get better access. Sometimes I've got to use a bloody screwdriver to get rid of them. Which I may as well, if I damage the drive, it doesn't matter, the drive is buggered anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's hard to get out. There you go. The Molexes are out. That means I can now take the bay away. Now, as you can see, we've got both the hard disk code. Don't don't worry, it's not original. That's a with there used to be a 40 gig in here. That's an 80. There used to be a 40 gigabyte max tour drive in there. I chucked in a Seagate um, 80 gig. I would have recorded it for you guys and girls, but unfortunately, um, this MacBook that I'm recording on now was in the repair shop getting a repaired GPU. Okay, so now we're just going to release the drive there. Not the hard drive, I'm not getting rid of I'm not replacing the hard drive today. Can't be asked for the hard drive. So let's take out the four screws which are on the actual side, which are you can see where the holes are back up where the holes are for the and they're the same on the other side. Except you don't have an annoying IDE cable flopping over every five seconds on the other side. Because there is no IDE cable on the other side. Right. Once you got it out, what you have to do is push. And it neatly comes out. As you can see there's plastic in here and everything. That piece of silver plastic is very annoying. Is very very ironing, uh, ironing, right? So this is the HL Data Store, made by, oh guess what, Atachi. It's the same one because we made the other drive. Um, March two thousand two, so it's had uh, better days. Uh, the reason why this drive is so effed in the A is because it won't actually come out. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Right now we're coming to this drive. Now, unlike the other drive, we actually have to get this whole front face off. So, I will come back once the bloody thing is off. Okay, now that I, okay, now that I got the actual tongue open, I'll now show you how to remove the bezels and stuff. So firstly, this one's very easy. You just pull on it, remembering not to snap it, so... Just get that a bit lower. Oh damn. Um, oh, this is actually really quite hard. It's usually quite easy, but uh, this one is a bit harder. There you go. What I did was I uh, pulled up, on, pulled up on that part and pulled it away, and that's got rid of that. And let me just get the my screwdriver. You have to grab get that tab. And push it in that tab uh, right there. that tab push that in that tab and this tab at the top and now it's naked there you go and that's perfect to go into the MAC G4 firstly I never recommend doing that but that's the only way you can get it in back in and now comes the horrid bit. The part where you have to slide it back in to this. Now, I would recommend using cell tape for this, but as I don't have any cell tape, as you see, I'm trying to hold it with one hand. Ah! Okay, I'll just lower this a bit more. It's like trying to talk, uh, say to a 4 channel that Metal Gear Solid 4 was not a movie. There you go. So, once the holes match up on the side, you brill. Okay, next thing is to make sure you've got your jumper setting correct. So, you'll find your old drive, and this has got it, and this has got my the old drive 
is set to slave. So now we have to find out the jumper settings and it's currently on master so I'll just have to get the jumper, change the jumper over oh this jumper has never been changed oh. and on to slave great so now just reconnect the cables swing and reinsert into the G4 which you may think, oh that's easy oh god it's not remember connect the uh, power cables back up because it's a very 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 nasty thing to forget because let's just face it these molexes can be hell to get out and the fact of the G4 being such a male house full of uh, you know, hard to just think How about now? Oh, don't worry about this. It's just Apple's fit and finish thing. I'll put it if I if I do feel the need to chuck it back on. I will when I can be asked. All right. So now you just got to re put all the screws in, put the whole board back on, and yada yada yada. So I'll come back once that's done. Okay. So the screws are back in. Oh nice dude, let's just connect the cables. That cable's a lot easier to take to put back in than to take out. And you'll see there's a cable by here that's known as a TMDS cable. If somebody could tell me what that is, I would really appreciate it. Because I'm actually wondering what the hell that is. So that's in. And you need to reconnect these two cables. Now you might be wondering, what's this port for right by here? Well, it's for that. It's the inbuilt thing into the thing, which I think is all the video um, doodah. That's what I think, anyway. Could be completely wrong. Ah, before I forget, let's put the guard back on. We don't want to forget that. If you do, you're an idiot. Because you would be building your iMac G4 on the lies joking about that. Okay, so let's just put in the screws. Yeah. Let's just put in the screws. screws, 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 screws. This probably will be heavily edited. 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 To actually work for I mean, YouTube. Now, you will have to work at an incredibly bad angle. Why I say this? Because you just will have to work at an incredibly bad angle. Because the cables aren't bloody long enough. As you saw when I started this video. Oh yeah. Don't forget to reinsert the memory. Click click. Brill. And put in the power cable, which is in. There you go. And now you have to keep on looking inside, lining up with that thing, and it's closed. Okay, I'll now come back to you once it's finished.